Hey, she's welcome back to my mobile suit Gundam, which from Mercury Reactions. We're gonna be watching episode five today. And last time, last time, uh, we were doing some tests in the school, and uh, apparently, Saleta and everyone needed uh, like the spotter and everyone uh, on, ba on the on the sidelines doing everything in the back back burner. I don't know if that's the right term to use, but they're like doing the background stuff, and then. Uh, uh, Soleta does the take in the mines and everything. So yeah, she didn't know about it and uh, once she was doing it with Miorine, she got kind of pranked by these two patients that are bullies and we made friends with Earth Earthians because uh, we found a common enemy in these patients that are bullies. And uh, yeah, I like the, po I like the part where... Uh, <laughs> what is, what is, what's her name? I forgot her name, wow. I wrote it down, but it's on my other notebook now. I forgot to write down my bigger notebook. Anyways, um, I don't know. I forgot her name. There's Nika, who is the black-haired one, and then there's the cotton candy-haired one. I forgot her name, and then uh, she punched one of the bullies, and it was glorious. And uh, <laughs> it's great. And we made friends with Earthlings. Now, now we have more friends, and uh, uh, we're crossing off stuff on freaking Suleta's uh, to-do list, and it's great. So, I don't know where this is going, so let's just watch it. There's gonna be two versions of this reaction video. A picture in picture version, which you can find in the description below, and a time and beast version, which you are watching right now. If you want to sync up your images to the time based version, you can do that with a 5 second countdown. It's gonna count down for 5 because that's what they do. And it's zero is the same frame. My video is playing on the screen. I'm just gonna fix volume, unmute it, and start the timer. Gunshots. Is this straining? That's loud. Is this real warfare? Oh, it's a duel, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, how much is that? <laughs> Woo! Ooh. Oh, taken. One down. No. Two down. Okay. Cool. Extinguish it. Okay. What are we doing? The other witch. Hmm. Yeah, 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 we were talking about that in the episode zero. Mm. I need to make a face for the thumbnail. <laughs> I don't know. If you watch this on a BAP, discussions are back on YouTube all the time, so uh, would it really help out if you could leave a like on YouTube, subscribe there, you know, all that stuff. Take it there, peace on, same to the beginning and end. Let me just check something. Mercury. 
Yeah, this is episode five. Yeah. We jumped. We jumped some time. This is a cute song. <laughs> I want to follow up more on why uh, Guel wanted to marry Soleta in that spur of the moment thing. <laughs> okay, we're just changing the at the the sky. <laughs> Worthy of the gods themselves. I like Nika. Her eyes are cute. It's so circular. <laughs> what are we doing? Divination? <laughs> Yes, he was. He was killed. How accurate are her fortunes? Oh, interesting. Fortunes. Let's talk about that a bit. This. <laughs> Ellen is the kind of rich looking guy, right? The icy eye, okay. The gossip! Huh. He's a cool guy. <laughs> Someone asked me out on a date, Mom. Yep. Go on a date, right? Hmm, yeah, I keep saying that. I like that. I like that philosophy. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Okay, this is from the first fight, right? I think.
Mm, store organic. Interesting way to put that. Possible. Are you also like that? I oh, just like you. He's been trying to get- ooh, nice lights. He's been trying to get close to Soleta for the past four episodes, huh? Choo Choo! That's the name! I forgot! I told myself I will remember it based on the animal in, uh, Revolutionary Girl Utena. Whee! What do you mean? <laughs> your fiance! Have fun on your date! What? <laughs> I like that Miorina is so pissed. What? Oh, Jim. <laughs> it's going out of control. Uh. <laughs> it's spiraling out of control. What? What? I wonder what the exact what they're gonna do exactly. So, doesn't even feel like a date, <laughs> but she doesn't know that. <laughs> oh, oh, this feels kind of like a date. <laughs> Phrasing. Excuse me, I have a cold. Mm. <laughs> okay. Gonna try it? Okay, let's go. I don't think that's it, but sure. Hmm. What is a permit score? What is a permit score? 
Oh, so it, it's like... Yeah. Wait, what? It's like you can control it through your mind. So... Never had a birthday. Never had a mom. Huh. Interesting. Who's this? So. Do a duel, okay. Ah, uh, okay. Libra scales. I'm not talking that much today, or am I? Am I? You're welcome. <laughs> What? <laughs> Is he becoming protective of him? <laughs> no answer to that. Yeah, just make the kids fight each other. It's it's healthy. <laughs> He's gonna win. He's gonna win. <laughs> He's gonna win. If I win, yeah, that's a flag. You're gonna lose. Fighting over Suleta. <laughs> Let them kill each other. It's great. I freaking love Miorine though. <laughs> Oh, I just... <laughs> mm -hmm. Goa's gonna lose. <laughs> I just get that feeling. They raised so many flags. Oh, I'm serious. Hit. 
Oh, nice background. So dark depths of space, basically. Um. Okay. Sugoi! Okay. Gondom. Oh, he's gonna use it. Okay. And I'm assuming he has like the curse as they put it. And it hurts him. Whoa! Okay. Sunbeam. Yep. Who's this guy? Girl, Smith Solo. Senpai, I don't remember you. Woo! Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> no. Oh, my God. Done. Oh. That's cool, okay. Nice. Wait, you keep shooting? Are you gonna kill Guel? <laughs> You're not, right? Okay. <laughs> and that gay keeps losing. <laughs> We're gonna fight. Next episode. Um Oh that's not nice. Okay, if you watch this little baby discussions are back on YouTube. My pinky is so itchy. Something bit it, like a bug bite. Um I'm not used to these headphones. They're they're a lot better than my old ones, but uh it's it casts out a lot more sound, so I'm I feel like I'm talking really loudly. Interesting. We have another witch. This ED is really cool though. Visuals are really nice.
Let me check something. I knew it. I just need to fix some. Oh, right, there we go. I like the art in this uh, in this CD. I was I wasn't looking at it for a while. Okay, let's see this. There's going to be art at the end and also some this thing. A gloomy song. Art. Let's see the art. Uh oh, that's the team. That's uh with Guel's squad basically. I like I like the. This girl's design. They're kind of mean, but I like the girl's design right there on the left. You can't see my mouse. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> um, uh, and this is the younger brother, right? On the left. Upper, uh, front, front on the left. Uh, yeah, nice art. Uh, I like the shading on this one. It's really cool. Just shading or grading. Pretty sure it's shading. Um, okay, I think we're done with this episode. So we're gonna talk about this episode. Let's talk about this episode. <laughs> um... We start off with Ellen fighting uh, a bunch of people, uh, the three on one, and he's just really good at it. Uh, we gotta have the silent and deadly protagonist, not protagonist, like a uh, silent and deadly edge lord. We gotta have that in, in any show. So why, why not be Ellen? <laughs> it's really great. Um, they talk about the bioethical concerns involving the pilots, and it seems to be referring to the curse that uh, Ellen was talking about where because uh, wasn't it in the episode zero there was like there's there's like changes in the structure the, the how the face of the pilot looks whenever they use the Gundam and then uh, I think it was very very similar to how uh, it looked when Ellen was using the Gundam that he had so yeah also it seems that he's looking is he? I don't, I don't fully get his character yet because it seems like he's looking for someone to share his uh, worries with. But at the same time, I feel like he's looking for, I don't know, pity is the right word. But it feels like um, he wants people to acknowledge that uh, he is suffering or, I don't know, sharing that suffering maybe. Maybe it's a better term, sharing that suffering, which is a very interesting character arc. If we're going with that, because I don't know, um, in a way, he is very similar to Ut Soleta. I was about to say Utena, but um, Soleta, and um, I don't know. Maybe it's something along with his pride that makes him want to just be this guy that is gonna take the aerial and everything. I don't fully know. I don't even know if it's like his Gundam is still hurting him and the aerial didn't hurt him at all. And uh, the Ariel is the one that he actually wants, and it's not really freaking uh, Soleta. That that could be the case. I don't know. And of course he wins. Um, OP. I like the OP a lot. I like the girls in this in the in our squad with the Earth Earthians and Miorine. They're just ruthless, and I love it for it. I spat a lot. I'm sorry about that. I don't know if you saw that, but I spat a lot. Um, <laughs> sorry about this. I'm trying to read something. I can't read it. I can't read what it is there. Okay, so repairs for Ariel. Okay, let's talk about the fortunes, which is very interesting. I get the feeling that the fortunes are a very Earthian thing, where I don't know why, but it because Earth. Earthlings, us, seem to be very, a lot of us are, seem to be very, uh, uh, what's the word for it, like into like horoscopes and stuff like that. So <laughs> maybe it's an Earthian thing and Spatians don't really, don't really like this kind of stuff or they don't know about this stuff. That, that's an interesting tidbit of like world building and how culture works in the universe, in, in this universe. That could be fun. But uh, the other thing I want to talk about is I wonder how accurate the fortune telling is because uh, we know that there's in I know at the very least that in the because I was spoiled by this in like a death battle video I think because I haven't reached that point in Gundam I just, okay I'm gonna talk about this again but um, 
basically I watched a few episodes of the original Gundam and uh, I didn't continue it for a while because I didn't feel like watching that kind of show at that moment. I, I thought I would enjoy it at that moment but I didn't, not yet, so yeah. But then uh, I know because of a death battle video that, uh, that in the original uh, Gundam timeline there's people with superpowers. So I'm wondering if uh, fortune telling is an actual thing that isn't just based on, you know, Barnum, <laughs> Barnum effect and all that and just being very vague about the results and telling someone about it and then them being like, oh yeah, I do breathe air. <laughs> I do like drinking water. Yeah, there is something about this that is uh, something to do with the number three. I know that. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I've, I've been a, a, a strong, um, I'm strongly against this kind of stuff, so <laughs> I don't know, I just usually don't end up liking this kind of stuff. I usually don't end up liking people that take this kind of stuff seriously. Too seriously. It's okay to like it, but it's taking it too far is so not a different thing. Anyways, let's talk about something else. Um, date, what's the title of this one? It's like, oh yeah, I read that one. I think I even mentioned that it could be that uh, it's based, It's an episode based on Alan. Also, uh, them in regular clothes is super cute. <laughs> it's just cute, especially Soleta. I don't know what it is about Soleta's clothes that I like. <laughs> or maybe it's the fact that she looks like this. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I freaking love Nika's eyes. They are so round. <laughs> Uh, a thing that I really like about the show so far is that uh, very different people from uh, very excuse me people look very different from each other. Like um, there's a lot of representation of different planets, and it's really cute. And just yeah, yeah. And the best example I can give is Nika. She doesn't look similar to anyone else. I don't know. I like this little girl, this girl as well, the chubby girl here. Uh, I don't know her name, but she's uh, she's really into talking about romance, which is it's okay. It, I mean, they're kids and they're they're in their teens. They're gonna talk about romance. It's girl talk and it's great. Uh, I want to join in on the girl talk because it's uh, I want Soleta to have a harem. <laughs> I want Soleta to have a harem and everyone's just too willing to get Soleta's hand in marriage. I want that. I, that, that'll be a stupid way to. That'll be a stupid turn for the show. But it's in, in case of like, uh, not really a headcanon, but like, like a spin-off, <laughs> or it's like, or like a filler, or it's like a single episode that everyone fights each other for Selena's hand in marriage. <laughs> because that's because Guel kind of likes her now. Miorini likes her. And I'm not sure if it's in any way an attraction, but she, definitely Miorini likes her. And then, um, I don't know if it's a sexual attraction or not, but still. And then, uh, Alan is, uh, Alan has very mixed feelings about her, so. But Alan is the first one to ask her on a date. And one of the things that she wants to do is ask people, is, uh, to be, to go on dates. <laughs> it's such a, it's just like a teenager thing to think of. Like, I want to go on dates before I get married, because if I get married, I won't have time for dates. <laughs> and I, I, I'm kind of stuck with a single person by then, so yeah. Also, yeah, let's talk about the next thing. Mom! I freaking love mom, she's hot. <laughs> I like that she's so supportive of uh, Soleta as well. I read the, the the thing, I forgot what it was called exactly, but it was like a, like a story, a short story, about the uh, events be between episode zero and episode one, and how uh, uh, Soleta went to the, the school and all that. Um, Okay, it was. Uh, I, I just remember liking the mom so much in that because the mom is super protective, not protective, uh, super supportive of this girl, and it's great. I, I wonder what would have happened if she, she said that it's a date. Like, would it would it would it change her demeanor? Because it's just like, oh, my daughter is too young for that. No, I don't know. And according to uh, Miorine, uh, there's a possibility that Mercurians seem to be very uh, old-timey compared to compared to the people here. <laughs> According to Miori, there's a possibility because of how uh, Soleta acts. 
and how she was like, well, where, why am I gonna marry a girl? <laughs> you know, when when Suletra said that, I was like, uh, I was like, uh, yeah, that's a weird thing. But now that I think about it, what if it's just Suletra saying, but I'm not gay in the nicest way. <laughs> It's just the nicest way to say, I'm not gay. <laughs> I don't want to get your hopes up or anything. Okay, um... Okay, so they find the movements of... Uh, the, 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 is this the same woman that saw mom? I think she's the same woman. I, I'll see it later. Uh, I'm gonna look for it. Uh... Fuck. No! Fuck. Record properly. Don't minimize. Can't find it. I can't find it on you. On you. Oh no. Can't find it. Never mind. But I think that's the same woman that was talking to mom. So, so the movements are too organic, is what they're saying. It's like, uh, it's not mechanical. Wow, that's basically what organic means, Chase. But yeah, uh, it's machines that don't act or that don't act mechanical. So that's an interesting thing. Like, uh, I like the example that uh, Alan used uh, visually, where he moves the fingers like this. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, that, that does look very organic. And also the CG in that was really neat. I think this is very similar. I'm not entirely sure because I have not watched episode zero in a while. But this looks similar to what uh, what was happening to them when they were using the Gundam, right? It's her face borrowed from another two. I don't fully get that. Uh, yeah, everyone wants to ask me to look into it. Okay, so we're actually explaining why he kept trying to uh, uh, get close to her. And then she was like, and he was also like, you can get a, a team of like spotters and everything if you want from if you join me. It's not necessarily just being nice; he's being given a mission to spy on this person. I like the goat. <laughs> Isn't there chickens also earlier? Just have a farm there. Miorine just pissed at the fact that uh, she's going on a date is beautiful. Like I know there's. Uh, there's a high probability that this is not Yuri, and um, <laughs> and she's literally just annoyed at the fact that she's going to have a to to go on a date with someone that is one of the three branches, and she doesn't like the three branches. <laughs> so <laughs> that's probably it. But uh, I I want to imagine that there's Yuri involved in it because let's be real, the OP and ED has so much uh, potential for Yuri. So <laughs> let's see, let's see. Oh, I have volume. Wow. I thought I muted it. So. Okay, the conversation about, like, uh, he doesn't have a birthday is interesting. I don't know if that's him avoiding the question because he doesn't want to talk to Soleta anymore. Because uh, he was disillusioned about the idea that Soleta may be similar to him. These things are nothing but a curse to me. Interesting. Like, I don't think it's just that he was created or uh, manipulated in such a way that he would become a, a Gundam pilot, but it seems like there's something deeper going on here. And I get the feeling it's gonna be related to family. Mostly because of the fact that, uh, well, first of all, there's a lot of connections with family in the show, like with Suleta's mom and how it affects, uh, uh, how her relationship with her mother re re reflects and affects, affects, right, with, uh, other people around her. And, um, then and there's also the fact that when he said there's, I don't know my birthday or I don't have a birthday, it's really interesting to me because, uh, the next question that came up is, did your mother never tell you? Probably never had a mom, probably never had parents, probably an orphan. And then, um, and then he was experimented on to be able to use a Gundam. So I don't know how excruciate, excruciating the circumstances are, but it seems to be going that direction. Okay. Um, and Guel is gonna dwell again. <laughs> ah, Guel! Guel is so hot-headed. 
but I kind of like him. I'm, I started to like him in like episode three, maybe. Like, there's he's so interesting. Like, um, I like him. In the, okay, this is gonna be a very weird comparison, but I'm recording My Hero Academia after I record this, so uh, he reminds me of why I like Bahugo, and not 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 necessarily Bahugo in general, but why I like Bahugo. Is he's annoying? <laughs> like I don't want to be friends with this guy. In, in, someone like this guy in real life, I don't think I would ever want to be friends with those kinds of people. Never. <laughs> but they are super interesting because you can go deep, dive deep into why they act in such brash and destructive ways. That it's just very interesting to get into their psyche. <laughs> and. And now that we know about his, his his family circumstances, we kinda get the idea that yeah, he's gonna be very brash and very destructive in all the things that he does. And he also and because of the fact of, of his family and everything, he also has so much pride. And because of that, he's like he's gonna it's gonna be like, well, I'm gonna win all the time, right? Again, it reminds me of Baogo because Baogo's just like, I'm gonna win, you extras, okay? <laughs> like, that is not like uh, an actual comparison to be made from the show, from those two shows. Because I like both shows, but those, those these two shows are completely different. And uh, I don't want to compare them to each other. But uh, I like this kind of character, I just realized. When I, I realized that I like this kind of character because of Pao <laughs> and therefore whenever I see a similar character I just refer to Pao <laughs> uh, especially in the latest episodes of My Hero Academia his, his demeanor changed so much and you can understand him so well now uh, why did we go to space? the background is literally just space I thought it was cool because of the contrast of colors actually no it's not contrasting Never mind. <laughs> hey, this one. Okay, okay. I want to look at her. I want to look. Ah, fuck you. It's her. Yeah, it's her talking to uh, Alan. Interesting. Interesting. I like that little connection. And I couldn't tell immediately because she looks like a generic, <laughs> generic older lady character. <laughs> so yeah. Um. I think we're done talking. Okay, we're gonna fight Alan next. Uh, what is the next? What is the next episode called? A gloomy song. I don't know what that's gonna be about. We're gonna pull. We're gonna pull a macros and uh, start singing with the mix. <laughs> we're just gonna pull a macros and start singing with the mix. Let's go. Uh, no, it seems to be some. It seems to be like a. It's gonna be a pity party. I talked about how there's a possibility that, um, uh, not pity, sympathy. That's the right word I was looking for earlier. It seems that uh, freaking Ellen was looking for sympathy, but at the same time is being clouded by his pride. And maybe we get to learn more and more about Ellen because of the fight that, she, that he's gonna have with Soleta. Okay, I like that. I think I like where this is going. <laughs> I'm. It's a. Uh, I know that uh, season two is coming up next month, and um, this is really good stuff. Like this is really good setup for stuff to happen later on, and uh, it feels like for a long time we're in this season probably entire in this entirety. Burps, uh, burps. This is good. Mm. Wow, uh, annoying. But um, it seems that we're gonna build up characters, like uh. We're gonna go through character arcs like kind of what we did with Guel, except we're gonna go further than that, and we're just gonna learn about characters and be friends with people. It's great. I I like where I like where this is going so far. Uh, I I would say I'm hooked, but uh, I'm not in I'm not too crazy about it yet. Um, yeah, but I definitely want to see more. So, if you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion with girl leader and everyone else, you can do the page only for though. Would really help out if you don't have to, but if you can, would really help out. Help the channel out a lot. So yeah, leave a like and video, subscribe to the channel, all that fun stuff, and bye. -a.